So my dudes, Valk here, and I'm almost over my sickness, if you guys are absolutely curious, I've almost beaten it, it's why I sound almost normal now, I just sound super, super deep, which is weird, because I already had a deep voice, but now I sound even deeper, so if your wish was to hear me with a deep, deep voice, consider your wish came true. Anyways, I'm almost cleared up, I've almost gotten over this, I feel like there's only a couple days more to it. If you're, wor if you're wondering what was wrong with me this whole time, Valk, why were the video so low effort including this one? <laughs> I apologize for that, I was trucking through stuff as much as I could, uh, but I caught the Transformers variant, I caught the Omicron, however you say it. I had it, got it from my brother on New Year's, very fun, I might make a video talking about my experience with it whenever I completely cleared up and how it was, so maybe if one of you guys get it in the future, you know how to handle it. Um, it sucked, to sum it up, but that's not what today's video is about. Today's video, I actually want to talk about how the community operates in extremes. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean by the community is always one extreme or the other. It's never like a happy middle about anything, really. And now, keep in mind, whenever I say the community, I don't necessarily mean you, I mean the people who know I'm talking about them are going to realize I'm talking about them. Because the community is not one individual, and I have things through a biased lens because I'm a content creator, so I see things you probably don't see. And I also have, because I see so much, I read literally hundreds if not thousands of comments a day across all my videos, um, and I do read every last comment. Basically, I have a very skewed lens because of the things that stick out to me the most are the extremes. So, while there is a lot of bias whenever I go into saying this, I feel like it's also a very, uh, very educated thing to say that the community always sticks to extremes. Whether it's new units, new anything, there's never like a happy like, oh, this is just okay. Uh, there's always just either this is either total boo boo water, this is amazing, or like, like this is either total boo boo water or this is totally amazing. You know. You guys know how it is, basically. Like, Shin has a good example, right? Another good example of it, I think, was uh, Raiden. Whenever Raiden first came out, I understand, like, there were people, ma majority of people were both basically upset about the Raiden Bido interaction not working. But outside of that, there was the camp, like me, where I was screaming Raiden's busted to the gills. I was like, this unit's crazy, insane OP. How are you not seeing this? And then there was the other camp. Where they were basically like, uh, Raiden's useless, like, I can't use this character, Fischl's better, etc. There is basically both camps going back and forth. It's just something I've noticed a, a while that there's never like a happy little middle ground. What well, they are there, they're just very much drowned out by the extremes of one side or the other. And I've always found it very interesting, the pure dichotomy of the um, player base of Genshin Impact. And also, I feel like I, I want to throw a little reminder out there, like, let me back out after this domain run, because I've been just running domains just talking. Um, let me run and finish this domain up real quick, and I want to throw this little reminder out there. Now, whenever you guys sit here and you argue, like, what's meta, what's best? Um, it's very, it, perspective is incredibly important whenever you're talking about meta and things like that. It's really good to put uh, whatever you're talking about in perspective, because... This is all you're talking about whenever you're talking about it, right? This is the only thing that really matters whenever you bring a meta. This is the only thing that really matters whenever you want to care about how good a team is, how good a unit is. It's literally just this. How did I just not lock? Oh yeah, I had to reinstall. That's a story for another time. Uh, my PS5 hard break, but that's a story for another time. But whenever you're talking about meta, the only thing that matters is pro maybe these two floors if you're a newer player. But if you're a veteran player, the only thing that matters meta-wise is floor 12. So I want you to put that in perspective, to put that entirely in perspective for you, this is it. One singular floor of the abyss is the only thing that matters whenever you have, whenever you speak meta, but then look at all of this, right? This is what I meant by putting it in perspective. You also have Inconomia, you have all of this going. So whenever you talk about meta, it's really only applicable to floor 12. The rest doesn't matter because no matter what team you run around in the overworld, you should just be blasting stuff. Um, that's just how this game is. This game is just really, really simple and easy. But the community is always on one side, super far one side or the other. And it's always, like I said, it's always been interesting, the dichotomy of things back and forth and how heated people get over arguments and stuff like that about how good units are, how bad units are, whatever. Instead of just saying, oh, a unit's just okay, it's always this unit's dog, unusable. Which I think part of that is, um, I think it, I think this kind of goes both ways. 
I think part of it is people wanting to try to convince themselves to not be tempted to use their Primo Gems. And the other part is people wanting to justify the use of their Primo Gems that'll pump up a unit Necess are maybe more than what they think. Now, as much as you guys might not agree with my takes, or whatever my takes are exactly that, they're my takes and my opinions. Uh, I'm not always right. I'm not, but at the same time, I'm going to speak my mind on something, regardless of how popular or unpopular it is. And as much as it seems like I just go against the grain just to do it, those are just my genuine, honest opinions. So, yeah, I just wanted to talk about this with you guys, get your guys' opinions on it, and let me know where you guys weigh in. Do you guys think that the community... Um, and be be honest with yourselves here. Do you guys think that the community is one extreme or the other? And do you guys also participate in it? Are you guys also like gun ho like this is amazing, the best thing since sliced bread? Or this is absolute boo-boo water, depending on do you think that you don't have a middle ground yourself? I know I give in to hype sometimes, um, and I get pretty hyped up for stuff. I try to keep a level head, but in the end I tend to stick to my opinions. I do backtrack a little bit. But with my opinions, I tend to stay pretty steadfast on them unless I get, you know, really convinced, which doesn't happen too often. I'll ex I'll be the first to admit to you that I'm pretty damn stubborn. Uh, but I tend to uh, stick to my opinions pretty hard. But I also, I feel like I'm not super biased. Obviously, I am biased because I can only base my judgments and my opinions off my own play experience and not yours. Um... And obviously the units that I really like that I invest more, I'm going to see better results than units that I have mediocre investment in. So there's definitely playtime bias, there's definitely bias in that regards. Uh, so I'm definitely biased to an extent, but I don't think I'm super biased. I'm willing to say if a unit I really like is not that great, like Xiao for example. I still think Xiao's a fantastic unit. I just think whenever, we're, like I said before, whenever we're talking meta, we're talking Floor 12. I feel like in current Floor 12 he's not that good. Anyways, just let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys even were aware that you do this. Because sometimes people be bringing up stuff that you do that you don't even know. You're like, man, I do do that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching as always. Thank you guys for hanging out with me while I've been, uh, or hanging with me while I've been very, very sick. I'm getting over it now. I'm almost over as you guys can tell by listening to me talk. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.